Hello everyone, this is Monkle Zunky and welcome to my solo Zamrat guide. So first of all, I just want to say this is post buff, so this is after Zami had his special attack super buffed and it now hits 4000s and drains your prayer like crazy. A lot of people um, don't really know how to solo Zami after the buff that was happened. Before the buff, Zami was super easy and you could pretty much camp there forever, but now even with max stats you can't camp there forever. But I am going to be showing you a method where depending on your gear and stats you can stay there up to three hours. I actually just got back from a Zami trip where I had stayed there for three hours and I had to teleport out because I was out of overloads and out of prayer, but my pack yuck was still completely full of food. I uh, lived off of just the food drops that the minions dropped. The only reason I left is because, well, for one, I was bored, and for two, I was out of prayer. But anyway, um, f let's just go into the gear first and the setup for your inventory and your familiar, and then we'll tell you to Zamorak God Wars, and I'll show you guys exactly how to get kill count and exactly how to kill the boss and how to do well there. So first of all, there's two main methods for killing Zami. There's mage and melee. I'm going to be showing you guys the mage method because it's a little bit lower requirements. Um, you do need the Drygors for the melee requirement, and it's a bit faster kills, but you also take more damage. So I'm just going to show you the mage because it's a little bit easier, it's a little bit safer, and also um, Drygors are a slightly higher requirement than maging. So I'm wearing Sea Singers. You can switch this out for um, Barrow's armor. You can wear RMs if you'd like. If you don't have Sea Singers, I would recommend to wear RMs if you can't afford Virtus. I'm also wearing Virtus robe legs um, because they act as an uh, a Zami item and all the God Wars items so you won't be attacked by any God Wars creatures when you're in the dungeon if you're wearing any item from Nex. So that's why I'm wearing those. If you don't have Virtus Robe Legs, that's fine. You can just equip a Zamorak Arrow and you will not be attacked by any of the minions in the Zamorak Fortress. And then for my aura, I have a Vampirism aura. Um, you can also wear Penance. They're both very useful. For my necklace, I have an Arcane Stream, which has the best magic critical in the game. Um, if you don't have one of these from Dungeoneering, you can always just wear a Fury or even a Glory. Both of those will work all right. Ganodermic boots and gloves are super cheap, so I'm not going to go into those. I'm pretty sure everyone can afford those. Um, Chaotic Staff is what I'm using because it's best to use the Fire Surge spell against Zami. That's what he is weak to. If you don't have a Chaotic Staff, wear a Staff of Light. I also have a Scrimshaw Vampirism, which just helps out a bit more with the healing. Um, it does; ha it has the same effect as the Vampirism Aura, but it lasts for three hours, and you can buy as many as, as you want of them, so you don't have to worry about it recharging. And then for my ring, I have a Six Age Circuit. If you don't have one of those, you can always just wear a Sears ring, I would recommend. Um, and if you don't want to buy one, you can always wear a Ring of Wealth, and that will slightly increase your chance of drops. So you have an, in your inventory, I have three overloads, three prayer runals, and some super restores, some sharks, a tab out, runes for fire surge, and a yak, and yak scrolls. You don't have to have a pack yak. You can always use a war tortoise if you don't have one. Um, that works pretty well. Also, a unicorn works pretty well at Zami as well. I'm just wearing the, bringing the yak because it's helpful to bank the infernal ashes so, to make a little bit more profit. And in my pack yak, I just have more sharks and more super restores. So if I was staying for a really long trip, um, I would bring melee and I would bring more overloads and more prayer. But I'm just doing mage now for the guide. So how we get there is first teleport to Trollheim from your magic. If you don't have the Trollheim uh, spell unlocked, you need to complete the quest. Edgar's Roost unlock that spell. So once you get to Trollheim, just run down the Trollheim area and get into the God Wars dungeon. Alright, we're in the God Wars dungeon now, and you just want to squeeze past the boulder or lift it. Either way, it doesn't really matter. And one other thing that I wanted to quickly note is the Zami followers now drop War Priest armor, so you can get that level 75 hybrid armor that you could previously only get from the Battle of Lumbridge. The Zamorak minions drop it. You can also get them from Saradomen, but Zamorak is easier to solo than Saradomen, so it's a bit easier to get that there. So if you ever wanted the War Priest armor, you can now get it. You did not miss out if you missed the Battle of Lumbridge. In about 1,000 Zami KC, I've had two War Priest armor drops, the top and the helm, and also zero Zamorak drops, but I'm not going to go into that too much. Alright, so when you're in the Zamorak's Fortress, just get the kill count. The best way is to kill these imps, and they are pretty much a one-hit kill every time, and there's five of them that spawn around the dungeon. Um, there's one spawn there where I just killed that imp. Um, there's another one that kind of wanders around this area where this imp is. He's roughly around here. And there's also three imp spawns right over here. So what you can do is just run between these areas, quickly kill the imps, 
And then while you're waiting for the imps to spawn, because they won't all be spawned at the same time, um, they take a while to spawn, so you have to wait a little bit. What I'd recommend to do is to kill the spiritual warriors. They're these guys holding the mace-looking things, um, because you can just stun them with the impact ability and then run back and just mage them from a distance and you won't be hit at all. So that's pretty cool. Alright, and the advantage of killing those spiritual warriors for the kill count is sometimes you get drops like these. A rune longsword, so that's a free 30k. I'll take that. And of course, if you don't have a yak, you can't bank it, but you can always just keep it in your inventory. And there are people on this world, so I'm going to world hop until I find a world. It won't take long. There's really barely anyone that kills Amy. I was on at peak times yesterday, and I was quick hopping because it's faster to quick hop after you kill Amy instead of waiting for a spawn. And there's like no one on at all. So anyway, just quick hop until you find a world. All right, we found a world, and it looks like someone just died because there's rune on the ground, which dis disappeared. But anyway, that's a bit odd. I don't know why someone was at Zami and rune. But uh, when you're ready to go in the boss, just first set up your quick pairs. I use um, soul splits, um, the mage version of turmoil, and protect item. If you don't have those, you can always just use standard prayers and just protect magic. Just be aware that you won't be able to stay here for nearly as long if you use those, but the minions do drop a lot of food, so that's always helpful. So when you're ready to go in, turn on your quick prayers. Don't forget to activate your aura and everything. I'm not going to just because I only have one kill to do here, but um, just drink your overloads and all of that. Pot up, and then go in the boss, and it's Zami time. It's time to kill Zami. So what you want to do is basically um, use your... Um, damage abilities that hit at multiple targets such as the chain ability as much as possible and then also every time the asphyxiate ability recharges use that on Zami because it stuns him and it deals a ton of damage um, if you are doing pretty good on your damage and you're going as fast as you can Zami will usually only use his special attack once per kill um, and that can hit anywhere between 2 and 4k so just be aware of that and it also does drain your prayer massively when he uses the attack but as long as you have that soul split up and your vampirism and your aura um, you're not going to be dealt a whole ton of damage so anyway I got an adamant plate body on my first drop so that's not bad that's a nice 10k there and then you just proceed to kill the minions it's pretty easy but you can just camp here for a long time it's really not as hard as people think because um, as long as you're just going full speed and you're using your um, multi-target damage abilities, you'll soul split off the minions and really heal a lot. And of course, if you don't have soul split, you can still use the vampirism and the scrimshaw vampirism, and you will steal, still heal quite a bit off the minions. But again, if you have a yak, just bank everything with your yak. Um, with your yak scrolls, bank all the infernal ashes. And that's about all that there is for Zami. As you can see, it's not really that difficult. Um, I am able to solo here for several hours at a time until I get bored or until I run out of prayer. So anyway, that's about all for this guide. Um, I hope that it helps, and I hope you guys are lucky on drops. And I'm off for now. I will be making more God Wars guides and more boss guides and more skill guides in the future, so feel free to subscribe if you're interested in more guides coming up. And farewell.